Hey everybody, ASMR Puns here. It is Friday, July 17th, 2020, and if you've been paying attention to the news, you know that we in Ontario are kicking things to phase three of reopening the province from COVID. So I decided to head downtown to my favorite restaurant and bar, Wink's Eatery. So to find out just how they're kicking things into phase three, I sat down with owner and co-founder Dennis Winkler to find out what Wink's procedures will be. So I'm here with Dennis Winkler, owner and founder of Wink's Eatery on Albert Street, just at the corner of Albert and Richmond. First thing I wanted to ask you, Dennis, is when did Wink's open up? Uh, my son Adam and mm -hmm. I uh, opened this in March of 2000 and six okay so we've been here for this are actually our 15th summer nice and our most challenging how has business been since covid started the quarantine even before like phase two uh, initially it was uh, devastating because we closed for a month because we were not we just weren't sure which uh, what we would do mm -hmm. and then we opened for just takeout and uh, that went pretty good but again because of the amount of money that the delivery companies take off the top. It wasn't that lucrative, uh, but it kept some, we were able to get some employees back. And uh, and then when it started into uh, phase two, it was good to get the, the patio open. And that's been well, you know, it's, it's almost always got our, our maximum. We can normally hold 85 out there and we're averaging between 35 and 40. So now with Kicking into phase three today, I just wanted to let everybody know what procedures Winx has in place, how many people are let in, what they may or may not have to bring with them or where, and just how you're how you're reopening for phase three. I've, I've been in the business 50 years, and I have never had anything like this ever. For phase three, what we're doing is we're having we're taking reservations still only on the patio because it's so popular, and we're restricting that. Uh, everything that we have on our patio is uh, at, uh, six feet to uh, two meters apart. Uh, we also, on the inside, uh, we can hold 150 on the inside, but obviously we're down to 50, so we have lots of space in here. We have an item called the COVID stick here, the COVID and, stick. and it's almost uh, it's two meters uh, long, and we can use that quickly to measure and that. And we are restricting our group suite. We'll do eight people max inside and six people max outside and there's rules that there's no table hopping. The bar on the inside is now lined with plexiglass and if you come in to have something to drink you gotta sit down at a table and they'll serve you. You can't just walk up to the bar and get a drink. A host is on now all the time. It walks people through, shows them where the hand sanitizer is. Uh, we've stepped up the cleaning of the, we have uh, markers on the tables that show that after it's sanitized, so it's marked so that customers know that things have been sanitized. Even our ketchup, mustard, or wiped down containers and sealed uh, before they go out. So we talk to our staff to ask the staff, we say, well, what are you comfortable with? And they say, well, we're comfortable with that six. Because some people say, well, you can have 10 outside, but our staff is comfortable with six outside, so that's what we're, what we're doing. Um, one of the things that I really like about Winx, uh, with personal history with it myself, is the live music at Winx. And I just wanted to know, with, with the reopening for Phase 3, when would you figure live music would be back here? Music is going to be difficult because of the way that the legislation reads where you have to have them screened in. The other problem is when they come in to play music, you know, they, they deserve to make good money. And when you've got it, where there's only got 40 people on the patio, it doesn't make it really cost effective sometimes. Right. But that uh, that is really a work in progress. Adam is really good at booking out uh, the music. So he's going to be talking to different people and see what he can do to get things set up. But it's definitely going to be one of our priorities. Well, I'm glad that you guys are back. Thanks for speaking with me today, Dennis. It's uh, been a treat. Thank you. Mm -hmm.